Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So we've had an update to Escape from Tarkov today. I'm going to go through the uh, list of things that have changed and the fixes that have been done in the game. Not a massive list, just a short list. I'll throw them up on screen as I go through them anyway. So for optimizations, we've just had the uh, tried and tested standard line that Battlestate give us various client optimizations. It would be nice if at some point they'd actually detail what these client optimizations are. Now I know that they're busy, they've got a lot on, you know, they've got people out with covid so getting updates out and things like that is paramount and obviously doing patch notes they just put out sort of basic patch notes but it would be good if at some point they'd go a little bit more in depth with this rather than just saying various client optimizations it would be nice to find out what they are even if it was maybe a couple of days afterwards and it was you know it'd just be good if they had like a change log on the website somewhere that, so that you could look it up just be nice to see what is actually getting changed when they say that because we get no details whatsoever but Anyway, that's my little rant over and done with for this video. So the list of changes, they've added new voice lines for your uh, playable scavs. These are similar to help, command, health status, reaction, contact, enemy and team status lines that you get for the PMC. But they've also enabled VoIP for all new players. So if you're not a new player, you'll have to enable VoIP yourself if you're not currently using it. But those scav lines have been added in for those people that don't really want to use VoIP and they just want to have some sort of like basic uh, ability to communicate with people around them but to my you know my opinion is if you are using VoIP give it a go it is a game changer you know I'm not one for really talking to other people in games I generally turn that stuff off straight away but in Tarkov it can really make a difference and I have to say that out of all the engagements that I've had with other people in VoIP maybe 95% of those engagements have been friendly and really helpful there's only the small percentage here and there that will tell you they're friendly and then shoot you or they get a bit uh, shitty with you over VoIP but most people are very helpful very friendly very willing to help you in the game so I would definitely sort of recommend turning it on if you're not currently using it then we've got a list of fixes so they've fixed some cases of grass glowing during rain quick pressing the sprint key will no longer increase players walking speed temporary bans at the flea market now correctly reset over time without the need to restart the game they've fixed the incorrect Bitcoin farming time display with a generator turned off after restarting the game fixed several issues Issues leading to bots getting stuck, fixed incorrect ergonomics indication of the M1A rifle while in the inspect menu, fixed the supply create flare sound issue with disabled sounds and this is probably one of the biggest ones in this sort of update for me is fixed an issue with raiders not spawning after activating specific extracts on reserve. Important because they have just increased the uh, raider spawns on reserve but obviously certain things that you do within the game wasn't spawning them in all of the time or to the percentage that they should have been so that's been fixed now there was also a fix uh, it's not listed on the screen but there was a fix for the uh, solar farm in the hideout there was there's been an issue with that for a couple of weeks now now i don't use the solar farm and i haven't looked into the issue too much so i don't know what the actual issue was but i think it was relating to the amount of fuel that was being used whilst you had the solar farm going solar farm is meant to cut your fuel usage by 50 percent, but i don't think it was doing that correctly but that was also fixed as well i think that was yesterday or the day before so yeah those are a list of all the fixes and then we had this image from Nikita and he basically says that it looks like the depth of customization for the AK system increases significantly and as you can see the gun is split into a lot more parts than is currently uh, available in the game so it looks as though the depth of customization for that platform at least is going to get quite deep now when that will happen I don't know it'll be in an update in the future obviously but at sort of time scale we don't know what you're actually going to be able to customize and to what degree we don't know either we'll have to wait until we get some more details on that so yeah we'll have to wait for more details on that as and when we get them and that is pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen as i say just a quick update today you will download that file the launcher it is just 12 megabytes so it's no biggie at all and that is it for this video so as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care